Uh, my name's Dave Bowen, and I live in a little town uh, just outside of Seattle, Washington. And I was going to show you my 450 Halcyon. Uh, it's number 41, and I think it's the only one in Washington State at this point, but I'm hoping that'll change. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me show you my bike and and what I've done to, to, to make it mine. It's kind of the point of Janus Motorcycles is that we can order the bikes whatever color we want and how we want them configured and and, uh, and that's a wonderful thing in this day and age but once we, it gets to your garage you kind of need to personalize it and make it yours and that's kind of what I've done so here's just a little rundown of the things that I've done to it uh, modifications um, they're not for everybody but um, it, it it, it, it works for me. So anyway, but here's here's my 450 Halcyon um, And it's it's number 41 as I've said and um, I've had it just a little over a year now and about 10,000 miles on it and um, I've Had a few little hiccups, but Janice has always stepped up and taken really good care of me. So it's it's good to go. But well anyway, let's um we'll uh, We'll start at the front of the bike and I'll show you some things that I've done and changed out. Um, one of the first things you might notice is that these tires, those are not the stock tires. And um, the kind of riding I do, I'm an old sport bike guy and so I wanted something with a little bit more stick. And, um, and these are Michelin um, Road Classics and a 4x18s front and back and they seem to be working really out very nicely for me. And I also had, I don't know if you can see in there but I've also had a mount uh, balanced and and that was a huge improvement on the overall bike one of the things that isn't as obvious is that these are not stock front springs um, I swapped them out for a softer spring um, and Roger at um, Icon USA took good care of me and that made a big difference for me also because I don't I only weigh about 180 pounds riding gear so those worked out one of the other changes I made and this one was purely cosmetic is this little this little fin on the front it's um it's from a 1940s uh, front fender of a bicycle from france um anyway i found it at a junk shop and it works out i added a little windscreen uh to here um i know it's tiny but it really makes quite a difference um as far as is fatigue and such one of the other things you might notice is that these handlebars are not stock um I changed these out. I'm a big fan of um, bar end mirrors and the stock handlebars, the angle they come back wouldn't let me do that. So I swapped these out, bought them on Amazon. Um, they're little dirt bike bars and I added some bar end mirrors and it kind of changed the look. Also, uh, the grips, I modify, I, um, you can see this little switch right here. Uh, that's for the heated grips. Um, uh, underneath those leather wraps um, are some heated grip membranes and um, makes a big difference for our riding season out here in, in Seattle. It, it makes a huge difference. And then the leather wrapping is Trip Machine. It's an India company that does a really good job with leather. I'd recommend them for modifications. Uh, this mount right in the middle, that's for my GPS uh, that I ride with on long trips. And then, oh, the gas cap. My, uh, my bride is a metalsmith, um, and um, she made this gas cap for me for my birthday. And if you can read that, it says, transcend the bullshit. Kind of a writing mantra that I like to adhere to. Um, let's see, and uh, we'll work our way back. I swapped out the pegs, because um, I found myself dragging the stock pegs on corners. So I found these. Um, and they, they move the pegs up an inch and back an inch. And, um, and I also had to modify the brake lever a little bit to accommodate them. And moving up here, let's see. Oh, there's my, um, my warning label on the battery. Um, it, it says, caution, contains acid, might be dangerous. So keep that in mind. But anyway, and I added another uh, Trip Machine product. This is their magnetic tank bag, and I just put up a little piece of steel 
real thin steel plate behind it and the magnets hold it good and tight uh, and I put you know a windscreen cleaner and registration and tools and it comes in pretty handy I added a rigid rack to it it's unsprung um, so it you guys with the 250 halcyons will know what that means um, but it seems to work out nicely for me and I think that's about all the modifications but um, you get an idea about you can make these yours and um, and that's kind of the point individuality and making it your bike and, and loving it all even more um, but anyway I'm gonna put on some riding gear and take it out for a ride I will let you know where I go when I get there but uh, hey thanks thanks for, for watching welcome to today's ride we are about 120 miles from my house up on the shoulders of Mount Baker and we are gonna go up to what's called Artist Point it's where the road stops and I'm with a friend of mine Dave Preston um, we met along 21 years ago in a sport bike club and uh, he's riding with me today so um, let's see uh, see what this turns out let's go altitude So we're up on the shoulders of Mount Baker. And uh, because there's really not, there's things covered with snow and ice all year round. And um, this road that we're on at this point is up to, there's a ski resort that uh, keeps the winter people happy. And in the summertime, the people that come up here is there is day hikers and um, backpackers that's an off kicking off point to get up into the high country and quite a few uh, mountaineers so um, yeah and it's a little bit hazy today um, it seems like in Seattle we now have two seasons we got rain and then we have smoke uh, it's our new normal it makes me sad but I like the rain but anyway, so that's what, uh, who's going to be up here uh, uh, in the summertime. And the road, <laughs> let me just put it this way, the views are better than the surface of this road because it's notorious for its crappy patches. <laughs> Mount Baker is about 11,000 feet or so, and we're not going to be going up that high in elevation, but um, yeah. Heather Meadows. So yeah, I, I said I'm about 120 miles from the house and didn't want to droll everybody to death, um, so I'm just going to make this a very short and sweet Thing, and I'm, I'm new at this camera, so we'll see what kind of quality. Um, yeah, Dave Preston, and uh, we, we met, he was the coordinator for a big motorcycle dealership trying to promote a motorcycle community, and so he was the the guy that had all the clubs and all the club rides and whatnot, and um, and we were in a sport bike club and we would ride twice a month, and the group kind of settled into two subgroups. There was the leisure group, and then there was the uh, seizure group. And um, anyway, so it's, we've known each other a long time. But uh, I started out riding sport bikes 55 years ago. Um, and so now I have what I refer to as my old man sport bike <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. It's, uh, it's been fun. But again, this road, this part of the road remains open for the ski resort, but then there's a big gate that we're going to be going through up to Artist Point and um, it's um, Oh, probably 1st of November until most likely June until the snow is gone and then 
they kind of decide what kind of condition that upper part of the road is in because the road keeps falling off of this mountain. It's weird. But um, but I last I'd heard is the road's open. This is the uh, a ski chalet. And this is where the road kind of splits and goes one way. It's a beautiful day up here. We're having a, a heat wave when it gets into the high 80s. Everybody freaks out, but it's it's pretty nice. Heather Meadows. And there's a little lake up here that's referred to as the reflection picturesque. There's, I don't know, we'll, we'll get a better look at Mount Chuckson up at the top. So Mount Baker has a next door neighbor called Mount Shuckson, and uh, it's reputed to be the most photographed mountain in the state of Washington. And I believe it, because it's very photogenic, and I've only seen it from this one vantage point. I'm wondering if the north side is just stunning, or it's just way too hard to get to. That would take you days of up and down hiking. So here's the main ski resort. And up there, that square sort of bluff, uh, that's where we're going. And I said it's the shoulder of Mount Baker. And the irony is you can't see Mount Baker from where we're going. So here's the big gate. Dun, dun, dun. It means Artist Point is open. hairpin up here and that's the one that generally falls off the mountain every year and then it, 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 sometimes I've had it where they didn't open up this road at all for the summer because the road repairs were so extensive and sometimes it's just a little bit later but you can see the road <coughs> on the slope there and the rock work that's where we're going friend Dave and I were talking about this turn. He hates this turn. He's he's blown that turn a couple of times and you end up in the oncoming traffic which depending on your timing, winding single lane switchbacks. RVs not recommended. <laughs> So this turn up here, it doesn't say as much, but it's definitely a first degree, I mean, first gear, 180 degree. Yahoo! <laughs> snow left up here. This is uh, past the middle of August. And it's going to hit probably 75, 80 degrees up here today. Yeah, Mount Baker, it's the northernmost volcano in the Cascade Range. And uh, I think there's probably one or two up in the Canada side, but this is on this side of the border. We're, we're probably 15 miles from the Canadian border. Woo so this is all volcanic. 
trailhead. Lucky dog. <laughs> Mount Shuxon coming out. Whew, it's a beautiful day. It's not too smoky. I was worried. Now you can see Mount Shuxon. Yeah, those are glaciers on that. They're there all the time, at least for the next 50 years or so. We'll see what happens then. But that's the next door neighbor. It's not nearly as high as Mount Baker, but it sure is pretty. bit of snow there's the outhouse that's what that's where we're going <laughs> I'm going to go over here to get a view. Because this is why we come up here. It's for this amazing view. So this is just a little short video. Um, I'm going to do a panoramic. There's the bike that brought me up here, number 41. And um, there's Mount Shuxon, the most photographed mountain in Washington. And there's this interesting little snow bridge that if I was like with a bunch of kids, <laughs> I would be terrified because that's going to break. But anyway, um, that little knob right there, that's actual the artist point. And there's all kinds of little trails that take off from here. And there's the big parking lot. There is Mount Baker. So you can see it's quite a bit higher than what we are. But um, that's the, the, the volcano. And parking lot, another bike, a lot of hikers. Everybody's up here hiking. And there is, uh, oh, the infrastructure. This is <laughs> the, uh, the outhouse, I've come last, I was up here earlier in the season and there was snow all up over the top of that. But anyway, that's, um, that's it and thanks for riding along. Bye.